Hello, this is Joanna from I Love to Cut Paper, showing you how to do a simple print and cut using my Pazzle Studio Pro software with my Pazzle's Inspiration Creative Cutter. I'm going to show you how to use a graphics file and make a simple shaped card. Um, it was about, say, a couple of years ago that I asked Richard Adams if um, he could show me how to do print and cut and he did a fantastic uh, screenshot tutorial which um, is on his blog and uh, you might want to look at before you actually try this project. Um, there will be a link on my blog post um, to take you to that tutorial. So um, thank you very much Richard for helping me to successfully do lots of prints and cuts um, on my blog. So the first thing you need to do is open up your Puzzle Studio Pro software and um, if you open it up and you want to select page size if you're in the UK 8.5 times 11 inches um, obviously if you're in the States you need to use a letter format for that and I'm going to select centimeters just so that um, it is the same as Richard Adams um, screenshot tutorial which will help you um, work this print and cut um, project successfully so here we go select OK and you have your page where you are going to do your print and cut At this stage now you want to make your registration boxes as explained in Richard's screenshot tutorial. I normally save these in a separate document so I don't have to keep making them for each project and then I just copy and paste them into my existing uh, project which I'm going to do now. and here we have them. So I just moved them to the top right hand side of my page leaving a little border all the way around. At this point you need to um, find your image uh, that you want to place on your visual map. So you need to go into File, Import, Image, select the file and open. And here is my image of my cute little owl. Oh. My little owl here is a bit big and I really only want it to be about 10 centimetres in height which is uh, effectively 4 inches. So at this point I'm going to select the transformation window by hitting C on my keyboard which opens this window and I only want to alter the height so I'm going to select height and I'm going to change this to 10 centimetres and apply and I should have my smaller sized owl here. I'm going to close my transformation window at the moment and I'm just going to zoom in a bit here for you. So I have my owl here and I need to auto trace it so I can get a cutting line around it um, as at the moment it's only an image. So I'm going to select auto trace uh, which opens up this vectorization window and I'm going to go to detect intensity which has these four little boxes so I'm going to select the box and it will open up this little cogwheel here I want to I could select here here or here I'm going to select on the white outside of the image to give me an auto trace line which will effectively be my cutting line and then I use my slider and slide it not right to the end I need it a bit further because that is selecting the red part of the owl I want it a bit further so it's got a bit of a border um, and when I'm just there and I'm happy with my silhouette there I'm going to select OK um, and now I have got my auto trace line which is going to be my cutting line so I'm going to select OK on vectorization as I'm happy with that now I'm going to select the whole thing with um, move it across a bit and I'm going to justify so I go to justify here, justification 
and then I'm going to go to the one, two, three, four, fifth icon, which is going to give me horizontal and vertical justification and select. I'm now going to move my owl just over a little bit and I'm going to show you the next step in preparation for print and cut. Just going, just going to move out so you can see what I'm doing. At this point you really should save your file um, where you have your, got your graphics um, file on your screen, you've got your auto trace line and you've got your registration boxes so now is a good time to save. Now you have saved your project, project, you're ready to prepare for print and cut. So you need to select the whole of the owl. And you will see in your colour transformation menu a little button that says none pen. If you select that, it will take out that black cutting line as you don't want that printed out and now you are ready to print your project so if you go to file and print and make sure that you have borderless printing deselected and select print and this is how your page should look before you print it out When you are happy with your printed image from your printer, you need to select the undo button to bring back that black auto trace line. Now to make the little shaped card, select this black line and on your keyboard select Alt D and drag a duplicate of that line. This is to make the shaped cutting file. So now select the outline and you want to select C on your keyboard for your transformation menu and we want to mirror it so select mirror and we want to select the middle left coordinate and duplicate apply then you want to deselect that owl and select it again and use your right arrow on your keyboard and tap it about four times to the right. Then select the whole thing, go to weld and there you have your shaped card which you can cut out on your cutting machine. And here you have your, you will have your printed image and if you follow the steps in Richard's tutorial um, you should be able to cut that out and place it onto your shaped card. Thank you. If you have any queries, let me know.